welcome in our group research media and statistics today we will discuss how to run a bivariate logistic model in SPSS Bivariate logistic model has been utilized when we have limited dependent variable having two categories and for this we have this data it is an it is just for uh, for exercise we have different variables and they are the scales of these variables for exercise we take gender as our dependent variable because it has two categories female and male and we will assume all other variables as a independent variable in this example the first step in this process is to select the analyze option and in this portion we will go in the regression portion and here it is a binary logistic model option also known as bivariate logistic model binary logic model bivariate logic model these are the other names for this model we will select this option binary logistic regression and you see this window here this box is for dependent variable and as we say that we use gender as a dependent variable so we will insert this variable in this box and all other variables will be put in covariate section because all these variables will be acted as a independent variable now this categorical option we will select this categorical option this option is utilized when we have some qualitative variables as an independent variable just like age marital status blood group because these variables have been calculated or quantified in uh, qualitative uh, nominal scale we will select these variables all qual qualitative variables and put them in categorical covariates BMI body mass index and this is glucose fasting it is also called qualitative variable so we will also put it here and hepatitis diabetes obesity smoking hypertension all the qualitative variables will be put in the categorical covariate section and in reference category we select option last it it means that in the these qualitative variables there are different categories and the last category of the all these variables will be acted as a reference category uh, and the reason behind using reference category you will have to study different literature books for this reason it is and we also tell you uh, why we use reference category reference category have been utilized to overcome the issue of with a dummy variable trap if you do not use reference category then the there will be perfect multicollinearity between the independent variables and model will be not model will not be estimated so at least one category in dummy variables should use as a reference category and continue and in save options you select any of these options you need 
uh, just like we say standardized residuals to study the properties of residuals you may study uh, you may study any of other options continue in option you have to select classification plots Hausmann Lampshaw Goldner Spit test and continue and ok now this is our case processing summary and this 700 shows that we have 700 observations for each variable and in dependent variable this is our dependent variable gender female so represented by 0 and male represented by 1 and block 0 Bagnik block it is also known as fully restricted model in this model we only use intercept constant in our independent po variables portion and this classification table shows how good or how correct percent how much percentage of correct decisions by using this fully restricted model and it has 65.4 percent correct predictions by using this beginning block model and variables in equation you see that only constant is used in the equation of beginning block model and all other variables have not been included in the equation whether it will be significant variable or not significant variable further in block one you see that model summary Cox and Snell R square, natural Kerki R square, these R square values are very low as you see that 0.123 in Cox and Snell R square and 0 0.170 in natural Kerki R square. As you know that this is just for exercise practice, so uh, we don't bother about it. And Hosmer Lemshow test, it is as un it is also not significant, but for a good log binary logistic model it should be significant and in classification table you see that 26.9 percent correct predictions of females and 88.4 percent correct prediction in the case of male and overall this model have 67.1 percent correct predictions and these are the variables in equation basically it is our in binary logistic model estimated and the column this column has our odd ratios because in binary logistic model we have we utilized odd ratios and it is a standard error of all these coefficient and this world statistic have been utilized for the for testing the significance of each variable in binary logistic model instead of t test and it is the significant values columns and as you see that first variable age has significant value 0.446 it means that this variable is not significant and marital status has significant value 0 0.004 it means that marital status has significant variable in this example and so you have all the estimated coefficients of this equation dear students this is a simple method to estimate a bivariate logistic model and for our new readers we request them to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving our all latest videos like and share our videos and comment your suggestions